What is up guys, it's your boy Solheim here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King Classic video. In this video, I will go through my personal gold making plans for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and how I plan on optimizing my classes and professions to make as much gold as possible, and my personal goal is to get gold capped in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So if you are looking to make as much gold as possible in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, this video might just be the one that you want to watch, and perhaps you'll learn a thing or two from my plan. In this video, I'll go through what I'm planning to do, but I'm not going to go through all of my specific gold farms or examples, as that would turn this video into a several hours long video, but I do have a gold guide for Wrath of Lich King Classic, which contains multiple insane gold farms, the best professions for farming gold, crafting, crafting professions, their gold making potential, which items to farm in phase 1 based on supply and demand, and most of all, investments. Investments are how I turned 1000 gold into 10,000 gold in Classic WoW, and by investing those 10,000 gold, I made more than 50,000 gold in TBC Classic, so you could say I turned 1000 gold into 50,000 gold, mostly by investments. In my gold guide I cover several items that you can invest into right now in TBC Classic that has the potential of increasing in value by a lot in Wrath of the Lich King, which means that you could potentially make thousands of gold in pure profit. Right now you can also grab the gold guide for 50% off by using the code Solheim, and the link is down below in the video description and the pinned comment. So let's get gold capped. First up, which class am I going to play? Well, I'm going to be playing quite a few, but let's focus on my main two, Paladin and Mage. Paladin will be my main class and probably the one that I will level up first, so let's go through that one first. The Paladin is also where I'm going to be making most of my gold, so let's go through my plans for my Paladin. In phase 1, I will have Herbalism and Mining as my professions on my Paladin, as Herbalism and Mining are absolute gold mines, or dare I say it, gold farms in Wrath of Lich King Classic. The amount of people that will be going for engineering, jewel crafting and blacksmithing as their main professions is not even funny, it is going to be an actual ore fest, where everyone will be buying ores and gems, and the, de the, de wow. the demand for those will far exceed the supply, allowing people with mining to make absolute bank. For reference, the reason why a lot of people will skill up engineering, blacksmithing or jewel crafting is because those three professions are the best in slot professions for 95% of raiders in Wrath throughout the whole expansion based on sims. The engineering glove enchant is huge, the two extra sockets from blacksmithing is also huge. I, I know it's three extra sockets, but one of them is from a belt buckle, which everyone can use, but it's made with blacksmithing. So in reality, it's two extra sockets, and the gems that are unique to jewel crafters is also huge. Herbalism also has huge potential. Exactly how much potential it has will depend on what comes out in phase 1 and what comes out in phase 2, but if my assumptions are correct then Herbalism will be huge in phase 1, and I go more in depth on exactly why in my gold guide, hashtag shoutout, therefore having Herbalism and mining is a must if you're looking to farm gold, especially if you ask me. Now, I know a lot of you might ask, why not have enchanting or engineering if you're a paladin, especially if you're going to AoE farm or even sell a boost? That is a great question, and here's the answer. In phase 1 of Wrath, everyone and their mother and their house pet will be focusing on Wrath content. Not a single soul will be leveling up alt, at least not in the beginning, or buying boost from level 10 to 68, Everyone will be leveling up from level 70 to 80, farming wrath content, doing dailies, dungeons and raids, and basically all of the focus is on wrath content. Therefore, focusing on wrath materials is where the big gold is in phase 1, which is why I'm having herbalism and mining for phase 1. Another reason why I'm choosing herbalism and mining on my paladin is because the amount of time goes from 3 seconds to 1.5 seconds, and paladins have crusader aura, which lets them fly 20% faster. One alternative could be to be a death knight because they can also move 20% faster from their on a pale horse talent. 
Paladins were already far more efficient than Druids in TBC Classic, even though Druids have instant flight form, because the Crusade Aurora is so strong, and now that the amount of time has been cut in half, the scale simply tips so much more in the Paladins' favour. It is not a massive difference, it's about 5-7% to in terms of efficiency, like overall gold per hour, but that 5-7% to scales up over time, so the more you're planning to farm, the more that small percentage actually matters. For phase 2 though, some people might start leveling up alts, new players might start playing, and the demand for level boost slowly starts ramping up. Therefore, in phase 2, I will change both of my professions my paladin, from herbalism and mining to engineering and enchanting, and I will start selling boosts and even farm raw gold inside dungeons. Enchanting is huge for dungeon farming, as you can disenchant blues and greens, so they take up less bag space, so you need less trips to the vendor to clear your bags. And engineering is huge for AoE boosts and AoE farming, simply because of the repair bots, so you don't have to visit a repair merchant for every single repair. Also, those bombs, baby. In this specific case, you definitely want to have the materials for engineering and enchanting ready to go for phase 2 of Wrath, so I've already purchased all of the materials that I need in order to skill up from 1 to 375 in both professions, and I'm storing them in my banks on my alt. It was actually pretty cheap. Also, if you're new to the game or currently leveling up a paladin, you actually have an advantage here, as you can skill up herbalism and mining while leveling up, and keep all of the materials that you get from skilling up mining to help yourself skill up engineering later. Also, keep all of those green items in your bank, no matter if they are BOE or soulbound, send all of the BOEs to an alt and keep the soulbound greens from questing and stuff in your bank. This way you can skill up both engineering and enchanting in phase 2 of Wrath pretty easily while also farming thousands of gold in phase 1 by using herbalism and mining. In phase 2 and onwards I will focus a lot more on paladin boosting and AoE farming, it is incredibly simple, and as long as the demand is there it is probably going to be the easiest way to make a lot of gold super fast. Paladin boosting requires a lot, more, or a lot less skill than mage boosting, but it also has a gear requirement attached to it for higher level dungeons, but if you stick to boosting people from level 15 to 60, it is brain dead simple. Going back to phase 1 though, I also have a mage that I will be leveling up, which is where I will be focusing on eternal farming in Wrath, as well as skinning farms. I will have herbalism and skinning as my professions on my mage, skinning has a huge potential and can make a lot of gold, and herbalism can be used to grab herbs in the open world while farming, plus you can farm lashers for eternal life, which is huge. AoE farming for different Eternals like Eternal Fire, Eternal Air and Eternal Shadow is also incredibly good on a mage. Now once I've farmed the gold, I'm also planning to invest it because let's be real here, there's no reason to just be sitting on a gold cap unless you are planning to use it somehow, and since I'm not uh, into spending gold on raids like GDKP raids, I'm going to be investing most of it so I can make even more gold, and my plan is to get gold capped as fast as possible, so I can invest the, in the items as early as possible while the supply is high and the price is low. So yeah, that is pretty much it, a quick video on my specific gold farming and gold making plans in Wrath Classic. Hopefully you found it useful and helpful, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel, and I seriously appreciate all of the support. Make sure you check out my gold guide down below, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again very soon.